The topic which we are going to discuss today is about cluster C personality disorders. So already in my previous videos I have discussed about cluster A and cluster B accounting to about 7 personality disorders. So those who are missed, please do uh, watch the videos. I have given the links in the description box. So to continue with the today, so we are going to see about the 3 personality disorders in this cluster C category with commonalities like fearful and anxiety. So that is the most uh, common uh, particular trait about these three personality disorders which I am going to discuss today. So the first disorder what we are going to see is about dependent personality disorder and the next one is avoidant personality disorder and the other one is obsessive compulsive personality disorder. So the first one is about dependent personality. See uh, when you talk about these people they are like overly reliant on other people. They have this kind of uh, low self-confidence and they can't even believe in their own decisions. Though, so they are like extremely clingy and needy and they really want approval from other people and they are very much fear of uh, getting abandoned and rejected and uh, they just put up with people who are more abusive also. So you could see a lot of this kind of personality disorders in uh, domestic violence cases where they completely see no use in their spouse but still overly rely on them and put up with all their abuses just because they have this fear of being left alone and having to take care of oneself all by themselves. So because of this fear, they actually rely on their partner for all the decisions and even if, if before marriage, in that case they are overly relying on their parents so they can't do anything on their own. So this is like a very important characteristics of dependent personality disorder where they are completely reliant on the approval and, uh, and, the, and they are living in the discretion of other people. So obviously they can be abused. So the lot of people you would have come across, come across in your own life also with this kind of characteristics. But again I have told you if this particular uh, trait, if it is more pervasive in all the areas, even at work also they will be overly dependent and also at their family life. Everywhere you could see this trait only then it can be personality disorders and it should be more consistent and uh, this uh, trait should be seen in their lifetime right from this adolescent period. So you can't come to a conclusion unless and until you take them to a psychologist or a psychiatrist. So this video is just to give more awareness about these kind of mental health disorders. So we need not live with this pain and at the expense of losing your own life as well as uh, no, uh, causing a lot of issues to the interpersonal relationships as well. So with this idea I think you, I hope you can identify people with dependent personality disorder. And whatever you say, they won't listen. They say like, okay, I have to, you know, if you, if you say that, oh, why can't you take your own decision? Why can't you just go out and buy something for yourself? They can't do that. They always, for each and every small details, depend and rely on their partner or their parents if they, in the case if they are not married. So uh, th this is like extremely uh, dysfunctional as well. So this is about dependent personality disorder. The next personality disorder is about avoidant personality disorder. As the name goes, these people avoid social connections and interpersonal relationships. And uh, what is the major trait of this particular people is that they actually fear disapproval, rejection and they are extremely feeling more inferior and they feel inadequate about themselves and um, they can't go out alone also. They, they prefer to stay at home only because they are extremely uh, afraid of going to the, you know, so, and having to see people and they also extremely sweat when they go out also. So the, this is uh, like an important symptom of this avoidant personality uh, people and uh, it's not that they don't want to talk but then they are extremely shy. So they can't really relate to another person because of the fear of ridicule. Actually speaking, they want to get along with people, they want to be really sociable but they really cannot because of this particular disorder that is avoidant personality disorder. So these people uh, become more dysfunctional because they can't go out and work and they are like extremely reliant only on their parents support or they don't even talk actually to the parents because of fear of criticism because they hate to be criticized, they can't stand these criticisms, they are extremely sensitive people. So uh, this kind of personality is more prevalent in our society also. So you could come across a lot of such people and um, but they don't know that this is a kind of personality disorder which can be treated. So by this video I am trying to give that kind of awareness that this is a personality disorder and which falls in the category and it is treatable by talk therapy. And the, this is the major symptom with which you can identify a person with avoidant personality disorder and next we will go to OCPD. This is obsessive compulsive personality disorder. So this is 
uh, not to be confused with an obsessive compulsive disorder that is OCD which is a mental health disorder but this is a OCPD that is obsessive compulsive personality disorder. So these people are extremely perfectionist. So this is the, another name for this OCPD. They are like perfectionists. They go by details. They are extremely obsessed about orderliness and uh, they want everything to be more detailed and you know, they are more organized and they are in control of people, control of situations. Without their knowledge, if anything happens, they get completely upset. Let's say they plan something for the next day and if something doesn't happen as per their plan, they get extremely upset because of that. And um, you know, one other example of OCPD personality with which you can identify is that they arrange things in their cupboards in a particular order. They follow a certain order and uh, if you could change the, you know, somebody comes and stays with them and trying to change their wardrobe, they'll be extremely, uh, you know, uncomfortable about it. Only when the particular uh, item is put in its place, they will be relaxed. Otherwise, until then, they'll be so, they, so much uh, you know, disturbed about the whole thing. And also, they are extremely workaholic. They even um, compromise on their friends, social activities at the expense of working. They want to work a lot and these people especially they are very good at work. So organization love to have them but then these people are actually extremely dysfunctional and distressed because a lot of time spent in these kind of activities is going to have a toll on their mental health as well as their interpersonal relationships. So a lot of marital issues also can crop up because of this kind of OCPD where their spouse get extremely uh, you know dejected and frustrated because of their overly uh, orderliness behavior or time consciousness and if anything don't happen on time they get extremely angry and they lash out their uh, spouse. So especially when the spouse is not, you know, not having these organized qualities and all that that's good. we can expect a lot of conflicts with these kind of personalities. So, um, this is the hallmark symptoms of OCPD. I have just given you some important uh, symptoms of these three disorders and as I told earlier the commonality being anxiety and fearfulness. And uh, when you come across such kind of people, maybe you could find these qualities in yourself. If you have a doubt, you need to go to a psychologist and get yourself diagnosed or if you come across anybody in your working uh, situations as well as your colleagues or your friends do tell them and spread a word of awareness because let them not live this life with this kind of difficulties let them come out of it and you know live the life they really wanted to live so this is the whole idea of, uh, behind this video so by now i have just completed all the 10 personality disorders comprising in cluster a cluster b and cluster c with today we have com come to the conclusion about all kind of 10 personality disorders so this is again to go with the mental health series. So we'll see more such videos in the series as well as in other areas as well. Please if you want me to talk on any particular topic which you might feel more helpful for you or others, please don't hesitate to put it in the comment box. Okay, so thank you for watching this video till the end and for supporting this channel. And please stay tuned and please do subscribe to my channel. Take care, have a nice day. Bye.